Hi guys, did you know that soil is very, very rich? Check this out. Hi everyone, your creative educator here, and welcome to Sparks the Flames Education, where you get great science, math, and reading content, and really fun and creative ways of inspiring learning. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification so that you can see our new videos on Mondays. Like and share, and yes, subscribe now. You can find minerals in soil, but what are minerals? Minerals are like pure substances, pure elements and compound, and they have a specific chemistry, a specific chemical formula. So let's talk about minerals a little bit. Minerals are oftentimes found in rocks, and yes, they usually mine them, but how do they get into soils? Well, the answer is rocks transform over time. Let's take a look at the rock cycle. The rock cycle describes how rocks are formed and then how they're broken apart and how they're formed again. Let's look at this first type of rock made from magma. Magma is rock that is melted, but once it gets to the surface, it becomes lava. When the lava cools, it forms what is called an igneous rock. When the lava cools, it forms what is called an But as time goes by, that rock can break apart the wind, the rain, tree roots, people moving, all of these things can break the rock down. This is called weathering. This process can take a long time. It's like chipping away at the rock with a hammer. When parts of the rock is broken down into tiny, tiny pieces, they become so small that they could be blown away by the wind, washed away by the water, and this process is called erosion. The broken pieces of rocks are eroded, but then they eventually settle somewhere at the bottom of lakes, at the bottom of rivers, and even in the ocean. Once they settle, they start to compact or they'll press together and they'll form sedimentary rocks. But it doesn't stop there. This rock can then be exposed to lots and lots of heat and lots and lots of pressure. And what forms can be these beautiful crystal structures that have lots and lots of minerals. So we're back to minerals, people. Now, how does mineral end up in our soil? Well, in the process of the rock cycle, minerals can be broken down into tiny, tiny pieces, which become soil. And they can then be fused back together, which becomes rocks again. But why are minerals important? In this activity, we explore different minerals. We take a look at different rock samples and we use this chart to try to identify the type of rock. Is it an igneous rock, a sedimentary rock, or metamorphic rock? And then we take a look at the periodic table. The, this periodic table has a list of all the elements and we take a look at how these elements are found in our foods and what's the missing link? Minerals, rocks, plants, we skipped soil. So minerals, rocks, plants, soil, and then into our foods. When the roots of plants absorb water, they absorb minerals along with it. Yes, all these tiny sediment particles that contain minerals are, that are found in the soil, sometimes the roots will absorb the water and the minerals. Now the water and the mineral helps the plant to grow and be strong. And as the plant produces food, these minerals end up in the foods that we eat. Here we look at two elements that are found in foods, found in soil, and we're looking at them in the periodic table as well as the foods that we find them in. So sodium and potassium that we find in some of our foods like salt and bananas, those two are very, very important for how our body uses electricity that keeps us moving, keeps our brain working. Etc. And then we have nitrogen, which we find a lot in these red kidney beans. And that's important for DNA structure and protein. But remember, a lot of this is found in the soil. And the soil then transfers that to the plant and the plants to us. So yes, people, our soils are very, very, very rich for so many reasons. One of them including the minerals that they contain and how helpful they are for us. Now we know that we use minerals and we use all these other elements in our electronic gadgets, but for us it's really, really important because it keeps us healthy. Thank you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. See you next week.